Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my five handmade essentials. So there's a trend going around on YouTube called the hashtag five handmade essentials and it was started by the lovely Sarah of Naughty Known Crafts. If you're not familiar with Sarah or her YouTube content, I'll go ahead and put her handle in the description box below and you can go over and check her out. She also made a video called The Five Handmade Essentials. And so in, in that video, you'll see all of her handmade essentials, which I think are really wonderful. Um, I wanna give a shout out to two other creators, uh, Martika J Makes and Rochelle of uh, Rochelle handmade designs and i'll put the links to their instagram and their youtube in the description box below so you can go over and check them out as well martika and rochelle also made uh videos with the five handmade essentials and so you could go over and check out their channel and then also look at their videos to see what their five handmade essentials are as well so both of those creators tagged me and so I decided to go ahead and participate. And I want to thank Rochelle and Martika for including me into this challenge and this trend. I thought it was really fun. So for this particular challenge or a trend, um, there are five categories for um, you to choose. And each category you're supposed to basically choose what is essential to you within that category. And so the categories are essential tops, essential bottoms, essential one piece, essential layering or a jacket or a coat, and um, a, an essential wild card as well. So the wild card can be pretty much anything like um, an accessory, a handbag, you know, those types of things. But I chose another garment because uh, I don't really uh, do hats and and bags and things of that nature all that much. And so I decided to go ahead and choose another garment. And so with all of that said, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what my five essential handmaids are. So for the first category, tops, I had a hard time with pretty much all of these categories. I had a hard time choosing one pattern or one essential handmade item from that category because there are a few that I wear that I consider essential. And I felt like I would be betraying one of the one or the other if I chose one. <laughs> and so I decided to go ahead and share with you um, both that I consider to be essential. So the first is the Berta 6221. Now, those of you who have been following me for some time, you know I talk about this pattern quite often. Um, I made this pattern into a top although it is a dress pattern, but I made it into a top and I absolutely adore this pattern. I mean, I think I will promote this pattern until the death of my sewing journey. I, I'm serious. I love this pattern. It's so easy. It's simple. It has like a little short dolman sleeve, um, which you don't have to do any type of insetting of sleeves or anything like that. Um, you have a frill around the neckline. You can also omit the frill around the neckline if you don't want to do the frill on the neckline. Um, it's just so simple and easy. You have the front pattern piece, the back pattern piece, and then you have your frill and your neck facings. It's really, really simple and easy. Um, it's not, that's not the only reason why I like the pattern. I like the pattern because I like the fit on me. I like um, the silhouette. I like how it's semi loose. Uh, it's not, too big and it's not too tight around my waist. And so I really, really love it. I love the size on it. I think I selected a size either 18 or 20 for the tops that I have made. And I'll put the top um, tops here so you can see the different variations that I made. But for my favorite of all of the tops that I have made with this pattern, it's with this beautiful Minerva fabric that was sponsored to me last year. And I made this last year. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful top. I love the fabric. It has held up over time. And like I said, I made this um, last year. It hasn't been a complete year yet, but I made this towards the end of last year. I want to say around October or November. And I have worn this, oh my goodness, I, I wear it all the time. I wear it at least once every other week. It's just one of my favorite handmade items. And like I said, I can't count how many times I have worn it. I would say maybe 10 times since I've made it, um, maybe even more because I wear it, like I said, almost every other week. And so that's one of my favorite 
favorite handmade essentials in my wardrobe. So the next handmade essential top is the Simplicity 9469. So again, we weren't told to choose two from each category, but I had a hard time choosing. And so this one from the, um, the Simplicity 9469, I think I made four tops. And this one's probably my favorite. It's a crepe, which is really funny how these things work out. I don't like crepe, but I love the garment. I, I know it's really weird, but it's, and it's interesting how those things work out. Usually the things that you like the least usually end up being the things that you like the most. It, I have found that to be the case with some of my garments anyway. But anyway, I love this. I love the top. I love the fact that it's on a dark background. So it, you have very bright and vibrant colors on the foreground and you have a dark background. And that's my thing. You all know. And I have worn this so many times, so many times. Again, I can't count. Uh, I reach for this quite frequently as well. It's one of my favorite um, tops. This one has the flutter sleeve. You have different sleeve variations. This one have the flutter sleeve. And I like it because it's not restricting. A lot of uh, top patterns, I find that their sleeves can be restricting sometimes. But with the flutter sleeves, it just gives me the movability that I want. And it just it's just really great for me and my biceps. So I really like that top pattern. The next category is bottoms. And I have to say the Simplicity S9376 pants. I've made maybe four variations of these. And it's probably one of my favorite. I wear these all the time. Um, they haven't been pressed. They have been washed, but they haven't been pressed. And so um, it is a bit wrinkled, but I love these. I have a golden pair. It's kind of like a, a mustard color. I have um, that pair that I modified a little bit with the um, tie at the ankle. I have a maroon color pair. I think it's maroon or burgundy. I have that. And then I have this pair here. And then I made a black pair for my daughter as well. So I love these pants. It has an elasticated back, which is really nice. If you just want something to slip on real quick, and you don't want a belt or anything like that. But it has a flat front waistband, slanted pockets. And I have reviews on my channel for all of these things that I'm mentioning today. Uh, so I'll make sure I put those links in the description box below as well. But this is definitely one of my go-to pair of pants when I want to, especially when I want to just, you know, get out of the house or just go around town or something like that. I grab these quite frequently. So definitely that for my bottoms. I also wear skirts a lot. And so again, um, just choosing a pair of pants or skirts, I feel like it's just in my opinion, it's like I'm cheating on one or the other. <laughs> so I had to choose a skirt uh, and it would be this beautiful new look um, uh, skirt pattern. I'll put the image here. I can't remember the number. I tried looking it up, but I can't remember the number. It also has a flat front waistband and elasticated back as well with a wide elastic in the back, which I really like. And this is probably one of my favorite skirts. And I wear this a lot in the spring. I made it last year and I also wore it this spring several times as well. So I also have a mauve colored skirt that was made with this new look pattern as well as a solid uh, scuba knit, um, a solid blue scuba knit skirt as well. And I wear all of these a lot like a lot i really really love the skirt pattern it's very simple easy and it looks very elegant depending on how you dress it i usually dress mine up and so i'm really excited about those and i love wearing those so the next category is essential one piece now i don't wear bo boiler suits jumpers overalls uh, those types of garments but I do wear dresses. And so I decided to choose a dress for this category. And my favorite dress pattern is the Simplicity S9041. So I have two reviews on the channel of um, this particular pattern. So the first review I have um, up on the channel, I think it was posted about 
almost two years ago and it's of a lemon rayon fabric that was sponsored to me by Fabric Mart and it's really gorgeous and I absolutely love that one. However, I do wanna modify that one. I want to shorten the sleeves because that is more of a spring type pattern and I don't know what I was thinking but I made the long sleeve version. I want to shorten the sleeve on that pattern and I did lose a little bit of weight, which is always a bonus, but I, I lost a little bit of weight since I've made that pattern. And so I want to take it in a little bit as well. I meant the dress since I've made that particular dress. Now, my favorite out of the two is this beautiful rayon shally chrysanthemum dress that I just made recently. Now, this one, I think I made in the beginning of 2023 or the end of 2022, but it is very, very new. And I find myself reaching for this more often than I thought that I would. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful garment. I love this garment. I chose the fl flutter sleeve with this variation here. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful garment. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I haven't had it for very long. Uh, so to call it essential is... I don't know. It is essential to me because I have been wearing it a lot, even though I haven't had it for that long. Um, and then with dresses, I just love dresses in general. And so all my dresses get about the same amount of wear because I cycle through my dresses quite um, evenly. And because I just, I love dresses and I love all the dresses that I make. I don't think I'm ever disappointed in uh, dress patterns that I make. Um, it might maybe one or two um, that I might make throughout the year, but not not often am I very disappointed with the dress patterns that I make. And so I usually wear all of my dresses, and they usually get a ton of wear. So I love that pattern, and it is definitely one of my essentials. And I'm hoping to make a few more of that um, 9041 pattern here soon. So the next category is the essential layering. Um, and so I have two for that category as well. So this first one is the Mimi G pattern, Simplicity 8655, which is a, a, a short little duster type. Um, it's not a cardigan. It's, it's just kind of like a duster and it has ties, really, really long ties. And I chose this rayon shally fabric that I purchased from uh, Fabric Mart. And I made this one last year as well, last summer. And I love it. And I wear it all the time, all the time. So in the summer, I wear a camisole with it um, that has like some pretty lace on the, the top of the camisole. And in the spring, I might wear like a little bit of a heavier shirt, like maybe a short sleeve uh, a tea. And then in the winter, I wear a, one of my, um, turtle It's like a mock turtleneck long sleeve, uh, top underneath of it. It's just a really great piece for layering. I think that, um, that mock turtleneck that I wear underneath of it, it's the simplicity 8992, I want to say pattern. But anyway, I love this. I love it because depending on what you put underneath it, you can just wear it throughout every season. And it's one of my favorite. I love the color scheme. I love the way that it just go with so many different um, bottoms or skirts in my wardrobe. So bottoms, um, my pants or my skirts, it goes with a lot. My next layering piece, I love this jacket. I did not think that I would actually get so much wear out of this jacket. So this jacket is the Simplicity S9468. So it's a blazer and I did a sew along for this um, for if you want to line a jacket pattern that does not come lined. And so I walk you through the process of how to line a jacket. So I'll put the link to that in the description box below. Now I made a red jacket and a black jacket. My favorite is this black jacket. It goes with everything and it's so clean on the inside, which is why I absolutely love it. It's just, it's a clean, it's, it's so clean and I love it so much. It's, 
one of my favorite layering pieces. I wear this with skirts. I wear this with dresses. I wear it with pants. I wear it with jeans. I love this jacket. It's one of my favorite jackets that I have made uh, so far. So this is definitely an essential for me. And then lastly, for the essential uh, wild card, it's this um, sweater pattern. It's the Simplicity S9385. So I made this a couple years ago, but I wear this so often. I wear this probably every week. Every week I wear this and I'm washing it. I wash it with my regular clothes, which I probably shouldn't, but like with my regular um, ready to wear clothes, I wash this with my darks and I've had this for almost two years. And look at this, look at it. It's just so, it just has held up so beautifully. Now this fabric was um, sponsored to me by Minerva. I don't think that they have any more of this. And so I can't really link it. You do see a little bit of peeling on it, but it's not bad at all. It really isn't. And like I said, I wear this all the time. I wear it to uh, the store. I wear it out in the garden. I wear it. I just wear it around the house. I, I wear this. This is probably my most, the garment that I wear the most. This is like my loungy, uh, you know, garment that I just throw on whenever I want to throw something on. This is just one of my favorite top patterns here. And I use the jersey fabric. It's like a rayon jersey, but the pattern calls for uh, sweater knit type fabrics, but you can use jersey. You can use, um, you can use any type of interlock. It's really, really um a versatile pattern when it comes to using knits. And so I have, I used um, that pattern to make a sweater before. I made a sweater with um, this past um, uh, Christmas, I made a turtleneck with it as well. I made the turtleneck version and then I made another version that looks like this. I've made so many different um, sweaters and tops with that pattern and I absolutely love it. You don't really have to do too many changes on the pattern. I would say um, watch out for the neck binding. I talk about that in my video, in the review of that video. Again, just check the description box below. But as long as you um, shorten your neck band, you'll be fine. Other than that, I don't think you would have to do too many changes. Um, watch that review. It's been a couple years. Watch that review and I talk about some changes that I have made, but it's very simple and easy. It has a band on the bottom, but again, yeah, it's, it's one of my favorite, favorite garments to wear, um, in terms of like just throwing things on. So those are my five handmade essentials. I am so excited to, um, hear what your five handmade essentials are. Go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know some of your favorite patterns and some of your favorite garments that you like to wear around the house or, you know, out or when you go to special events and things of that nature. I would love to hear from you. So that is my video for today. And I hope you all have a beautiful and happy sewing week. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.